It's a Emma Fife doubleheader today on Schmodown. It's Emma Fife versus Ginny and the Machine. It's Emma Fife versus Jay Washington. Emma, Emma everywhere. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this doubleheader of Emma Fife today on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Out of time, so say goodbye. What is yours? Now is mine. Really long video, so let's make this quick. Prediction, should it go wrong? You fool. Thank you, thank you. Um, Emma Pfeiffer's Janine the Machine. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Janine to win this one. Um, I think um, her first match was fairly impressive. Um, I'm not really sure what to think of Emma uh, in the singles uh, competition so far. Uh, obviously, she won the manager bowl, um, but not really you know, the top echelon of players in there. You know, you had Dagnito and Ricky Haber and, you know, players like that. Oh, and Jay was in there too. But, you know, Jay Jay put up a good fight for the most part. Um, so I think Janine will win that match. As far as the Inner Geekdom match, it would be weird for Emma to lose both matches on here. Um, I'm going in there fully expecting that not to happen. But for whatever reason, if that did, that would be kind of shocking. So I'm going to say that Emma will redeem herself in the Inner Geekdom uh, competition, uh, get the win against Jay Washington. Of course, knowing me, I probably got to ask backwards. So yeah, predictions sure to go wrong. I'm pretty sure they most likely will. So without further ado, let's do this in three, two, one, play. Shire Wolves owe us lunch money. We'll be taking it at that event, that event. That event tomorrow, or when you see this video, we probably today. Here's a good match. I thought it didn't explode. Last one I had. I've been prepared. He can tackle anything. Also, great news. Uh, found out a couple hours ago that the uh, the live show is, uh, in fact, a sold-out event. So, great job for everybody. It's really good to hear. Would have liked to have been able to attend, but I had some work. And I'm 3,000 miles away. Yeah. Hey, oh. Buddy, how's it going? It's going good. It's going good. You've been up. Uh, you've been busy these last few weeks, haven't you? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. You've been busy. Busy. I mean, yeah. Let's call it that. Right. It, it it never ends. It never ends. All right. Well, you know, let's talk about that, shall we? Sure. So we're talking. You you're talking about uh five way. Yeah. Yeah. In inner geekdom. Yes. Yeah. 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 Five way. Five way match. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna do something a little different with that. No, 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 no. no. It's gonna be a five way match, and then the the winners of all. F like it's been done before. Five way, four losers, one winner. Yeah, yeah, I think you remember that. Yeah, no. He's very familiar well, with that. I do remember the reference. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do things a little different. We're gonna do uh, a tournament. It's gonna be an inner geekdom's tournament. No, 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 no. We don't have time to do all of that tournament stuff. We have to get let me, let me stop, jump let me stop you right there. Because I think. What is this? Don't even have a name on it. Uh, you know what? I, I think I think a tournament probably sounds like the better option. Uh, I think. <laughs> what is this all about? Do you think it's like commish? You can make that happen. I, I yes, I think I think I can. Uh, I can make that work. Yeah. Can you make sixteen people work? Well, let me stop you right there. Sure, we're gonna, we're sure. Gonna, we're, gonna yeah. go, we're gonna go 16. 16. 16 people sounds fine. Yeah. 16 people sounds fine. Yeah, sounds good. sure. Well, then you can tournament. Yeah, yeah, whole tournament. No problems with that. N none whatsoever. Okay. You know what? You go ahead and uh, hold on to that because I got some copies of that. Just give me a little bit. Mm, mm, mm. Great. Where's the shutter? Oh, how could you do that? Uh, speak of the devil. I just brought this up. Yeah! Uh, how do you feel right now? You don't look good. What happened back there, man? Then I have to blank out and watch Emma Fife in her favorite fucking category, Harry Potter. How do you think I feel right now? How do you think? I am utterly 
not good. You have a big plan. You're going to try to get more people in your faction. What do you do from here? You want to know what I do from here? Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you my machine. You know her as Janine. And your winner, Janine! Winning on a walk to remember. So, I think my machine has something she would like to offer you. I'm not dirty. going anywhere until you give me an answer to a challenge right now. Okay, do, do I hear you Listen. right, Janine? You're challenging Emma Fudge to a movie trivia showdown match. It's not that hard to understand. I accept. Yep. So it's about right. Maybe. I guess it was. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. It's cool because I said two months ago this should be a Patreon exclusive match, and it was. And I never got a chance to see it. God dang reactions. Just better to just do them all at once. But, oh well. It's nice that you, you call something or that they uh, they do what you requested. And then you never get around to actually seeing it. Hello, Mark. Hello, Christian. The gang's all here. Versus faction, it reminds one of the Montagues and the Capulets from the classic Claire Danes movie. That's right. Now listen, um, the, it was actually it was funny. You and Emma Fife were sitting at the table during um, during Stacy Howard yep. and RB 3s match, and Janine the Machine comes out here, and Emma was kind of minding her own business. And A match that my Patreon which was used in. Oddly Fife's enough, credit, I think it was the very first one that was used in. The thing is, Emma Fife has been. In fact, I know so now. Now that I think about it. Here, to where she started at the Schmodown Spectacular, winning the manager's role. Big W for her, conquering a lot of foes that we were rooting against anyway. One of those foes being Jay Washington. Ricky Don't with like a lot of beef there because Jay Washington what like tries to recruit Clark Wolf, tries to mm -hmm. recruit Rachel Cushing, can't, loses to Mark Andreco, right? Can't do it. And then Emma not only gets Mark Andreco, gets the Shire Wolves, and has That's the star champion in her faction. Everything Why didn't you, for the, for, you uh, set that up? Now. And I think that a little bit of notice. Viper squad now adding Mark to the squad to really kind of throw some heat towards the Fife Club. And sure, and that's why Emma Fife is the favorite today. But if I'm just looking at this on paper as the uninformed layperson, I'm seeing one and zero for Emma Fife yep. and one and zero for Janine the Machine. So this is going to be an even playing field. It's just going to be who can play to their strengths better. I'm excited to watch this matchup. I am too, and we're going to get a chance to hear from the competitors. And there's not going to be a lot of nice words. Here we go. I'm sure of it. I know what you're thinking. You can spare your comments. Where's the rest of the Fife Club? They all wanted to be here. I politely asked them to please hang back. After all, I won the manager bowl on my own. That's what kind of set me down this path. Obviously, Andreco was there, and for that, I am extremely grateful. He is the first person who agreed to be part of this faction and set us on the road to victory that we seem to be doing pretty well on. I remember around this time last year, I told the entire Schmodown that I was going to put together a faction that would put the league on notice. And we were this close to having it until somebody decided she wanted to get high off white mm. and be traitors. So now I have Stacy who's out Traitor. there in the life of business. I've got the machine who's going to wreck some hellish shop today. And Right now, I want to take the pleasure of introducing you to the newest member of the Viper Squad. Ladies and gentlemen, please start clapping in your seats, by your computers, by your cell phones, even your bootleg flat screen TVs for marvelous Marquia McCarty. Oh, so as you mm. see. Things are getting a hell of a lot bigger and a whole lot better out here. Personally, I think that there is a little bit of a grudge held on Jay Washington's part because I scored the Shire Wolves for my faction. He was after Rachel Cushing, hardcore. He maybe expressed a little interest in Clark, but Rachel is the one that really, really stings. And I think that there's a little bit of jealousy on Jay's part, quite frankly. I gave two donkey deuces about Emma Fife and her little club of goody goodies. That was until Blondie started running her mouth. 
it's easy to just lazily cherry pick some decent players from the league, but a real evil genius knows how to build killing machines from the ground up. You're gonna be out there, you're gonna be talking about my goody two-shoes attitude or how I'm so jealous of Jay Washington and how the Viper Squad is here to destroy everybody. But listen, girl, it's way easier to talk smack than to play the game. It's totally different up there under the lights. I've been in big matches. I've been around big matches before. So good luck to you. When those lights are on, it is a totally big different match. Ball game. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You can do about it. Not so golden, Mike. And that's nothing. And deal with it. Damn it. Mm. Oh, dear. Mm. So much for all the nice words. She is calling out the fact that Jay might be a bit jealous of the success is where Jay is saying, you know, he put together the wrong squad last time and this is the right squad. He introduced Marquia inside of that uh, inside of that introduction right there. And then now we have um, this heated rivalry between both groups. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how to put this lightly as far as Jay Washington as the leader of a faction goes. Uh, he, he's in need of hydration. He could use electrolytes. He's a very thirsty manager, and when you look at Emma Fife, she not only is a good competitor, but she also seems to be more in control of what's going on in her faction. Jay's building something right now. And they I wouldn't necessarily say that. I think Jay's got everything under control. It's just that they, uh, she would be she they do a little, 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 little bit of that more. Somerville, who hadn't been back in the ring for a little bit, and then you had Emma, who, who had beaten Tom, Jay, and Ricky at the same time. So because of that, that victory just gets her that much more in the rankings over Janine. But this is a huge victory for either one of these competitors here. They would be 2-0 and oh and find themselves in the top 10 in the singles. That would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a huge achievement to beat Emma Fife and taking nothing away from Janine the Machine. The fact that Bonnie Somerville got the studio address right on the day of her game yep. is enough for her. Janine's mm. Oh, well, that's kind of mean. That sounds like uh, she's not watching. Sounds like my standards. What's that? No, that's all right. Was I just talking? No, that's all right. Hey, thanks to our sponsor, Starbucks. All right, here, here we go. Now we get into the tale. I'm drinking today, Christian. I can tell. Here we go to the tale of the tape. First, you get the machine. Her strengths are comic book movies. You have. 90s movies and talking smack and not liking uh, managers with blonde hair apparently. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. not a fan of the blonde. No, and then you get Emma Fife, and Emma Fife has the strengths of Harry Potter movies. Also, Harry Tom Potter. Movies. Don't think that's going to be on the wheel. I'm like, what movie did they? They all got blonde. kind of the same strengths. Sweden right now because the Emma's is coming. top strength will not, not be right, so present. If you're ready, you're ready to go. Uh, yeah, I, I, I believe I made it clear that I was ready. I, I'm ready to well, then come it's on. Time for the movie, movie trivia showdown. Three rounds to a finish, as the great Ken Napson would say. Gonna stomp a porg. Gonna snap a wand in half. Alright, alright. Just concentrate on your fight. Marquia's giving us cold ice here. I mean anger to us. A lot of anger here but as the look and well, this is what I like about the about the Viper Squad. They do, they come out, they wait. They wait. Now Emma said she was gonna be by herself, but I'm I'm hearing other I'm hearing other things. I mean, you don't think I'm, it's just gonna be Emma Fife emerging uh, through that curtain in the matter of mean, she lied? There was a certain competitor that that plead plead with Emma and said I she really wanted to be out with her. I have no who could be I, I honestly don't know. And her opponent representing the Fife Club with a record of one win, no defeats, the Golden Mike, Emma Fife! Uh oh. Disappointed that no one came out with her. Oh, 
I was wrong. Uh, and a dang Porg. The Fife Club has really been there for each other, and, and Rachel Cushing coming out here. That is a nice show of support. Will uh, the Porg be the for sustenance during the match? We're about to find out. I'm about to bite the head off this little Porg. <laughs> Just like Jeans, Jeans about to bite the head off Emma Fife. Packed with oh. protein. I see Dave Washington's Instagram selfies from the gym all the time. He clearly needs more grams today. All right. Here we go, guys. So if I can ask, if I can ask the Viper Squad to, to please leave, Jay going wonderful. back for 24. Please oh, leave. With them. Uh, uh, Rather than I like, get I like okay. Janine's mug. All right, here we go. Here, here we go. So guys, round number one. How's it gonna work, Mark? Uh, in round number one. Round number one. You're gonna ask questions, and I'm gonna get them wrong, and y'all gonna laugh and laugh and laugh. The end. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. Once we ask the question up here at the answer desk, you have 15 seconds to answer. You are going to hear the countdown from five to one. Please write down your answer or your best attempt at the answer on the whiteboard in front of you. When we attempt ask you to reveal That's your answer, fun. please show the whiteboard to the camera as well as verbalize it into the amplification device provided by Copster. Amplification right, so device. All the rules here too. Remember the JTE rules? Also known as a challenge rule. My and Emma, are you ready to go? I'm ready, Christian. Machine, you ready? Let's do this. Then let's get ready to schmoda! Yay! Right, here we go. Round number one begins. Begin. And your first question Round one. It comes from the realm of Fight. action adventure. Ladies, here we go. Who played the lead character, Beatrice? That's Beatrice. 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 Tris Pryor in the Divergent films. I believe Beatrice was the name of one of the mice in Cinderella. Tell me I'm well, wrong. Well, you didn't get the name right, so now I'm all confused. No, no, I'm sorry, the yeah, right. It wouldn't have helped okay, me none. Four. Point taken. Three. You're insulting me now. Two. Repeat the question. Let's. Who played oh. the lead character hmm. Beatrice Tris Pryor in the Divergent films? Hmm. All right, so I know that they were talking mice in one of them. Yes. Well, Gus, either Cinderella. Gus but then there were three fairy godmothers. One I shall learn three. the first Five. question of the day. Four. That's right, Gus. Three. Two, one, pens down, please, Janine and Emma. Uh, Mark, the movie you're thinking of, I think, is Sleeping Beauty, and the answer is Shailene Woodley. Correct for one point. Shailene Woodley. Didn't have, it. Didn't have it. Okay, all right. So now mm. he goes with Emma Fife taking the one point lead. Saw here. Shailene Woodley at a health food store one time in Los Angeles. Did you? She's a nice person. I heard, I heard she was hugged. She likes to hug. Did not hug me that no, day, no, no. nor any other day. We go to romantic comedy, and your question is Who plays Dr. Aaron Connors? Amy Schumer's co-lead and romantic interest in Trainwreck. Oh, God. It's not John Cena. It's the other guy. <laughs> yeah, very different yeah. plot and theme. Uh, yeah. Is it Christ. Five? It may not be that different. Four. Can you repeat the question? Yep. That's the first one. Emma Fife spending JTE yes, yes. rules like she has in Black Amex. Your question is, who plays Dr. Aaron Connors? <laughs> Amy Schumer's co-lead and romantic interest in Trainwreck. And five, four, three, two, one. Janine? Bill Hader? Correct. Bill, Bill Hader. I, uh, could not come it. up with, I knew it was kind of like, uh, anyway, it was a SNL person. I put Fred Armisen. <laughs> Fred Armisen. And maybe you do a little Bill bit of a work for your little friend, BB-8. Oh. Uh, I believe, actually, that was Ben oh. Schwartz. No, Ben, ben Hader. Hader did also. Oh. Yeah, they both did. They both did, yeah. All right, here we go. Points are flying by the screen. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Not on this screen. Dramas. Dramas. In the film Spotlight, Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo work for which newspaper? Uh, did you know Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo have both played uh, superheroes? Can you name the superheroes they've played? Just thought it'd be a fun. Mr. Mom. <laughs> it technically, He's yes. A superhero. <laughs> Five. Is raising kids a superpower? Four. Absolutely. I say no. I believe it's the Boston Globe. One and Emma. Total guess, the New York Times. Incorrect. Janine. Yes, Chicago Sun Times. Correct. Looking for Boston Globe. Uh, they yes. both got actual newspapers. Yay, I got one. All right, it is one to one as we move on to the world. Hey, we're all tied. Book movies. Your question therein. Who played reporter Vicki Vale in Tim Burton's 1989 film Batman? You ever seen Going uh, Keaton. Blank Man? Back to I, I saw Blank Man in the theaters. It was Damon Williams. He had concentrated flatulence was a good joke, I remember. It wasn't. David Allen Greer. Five. I heard him. I chuckled. Three. <laughs> Can't Two remember it. God, what's your name? Down, please. And we have uh, Janine. Kim Basinger? 
Correct. Can Basinger? Correct. Is it Basinger? I Damn it. Neither points. I know Basinger. They spelled it right. No points for anyone. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Next Hit the G. Question. Next question. All right, here we go. Fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi is your next question. Who directed the first Hellboy film? How would you like it if your nickname was Hellboy? All right. Hey, here comes Hellboy Harklock. Hellboy. That's my nickname. It should have been. <laughs> Better than Haymaker. Hey, okay. don't let Hellboy find out about that. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Emma? I don't know who it is, but it was not Guillermo del Toro. Yes, it was. It was? It was. Oh, oh, damn it. All she had to do. Oh, she she Emma. She does right, not get the point because she had not. Damn and it. Yes, that's right. Janine. Guillermo del Toro. She had it. Oh, oh Emma. Go. This is where you didn't want to get clever on that one. Wow. Just go with your gut. And Emma just missed it there. All right, here we go. Next one. All right, Emma, next come on. The world of Leave the jokes for me. Paper on a computer. Your question is, what is the name of Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character in Moana? Looks like they both have this. Both writing this one down. I hope Emma Fudge does not write N-O-T <laughs> in the top. Five, not The Rock. Four, three, two, Maui? One pens down, please, and Janine. Maui. Correct, Emma. Maui. All right, so machine still up by one here. Four because of that, three. not Del Toro. We have a one-point lead by machine. All it's right. that'll be, so that'll hot be my here. best spin, you know. I know. Shout out to John Stephen Roca. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Here we go. So next question is horror, horror, horror thriller. Horror thriller is your That one's gotta be hard. Your hard to get over. One. And um, I'm going to allow Christian to Thank read this question. You're steal my thunder here. All right, here, horror thriller. Why don't you go ahead and read one. Thank you. A cricket bat is used to fight off zombies in which horror comedy? How about reading that question, Steele? Do you think you can do another one? No, I think you ruined it for me. <laughs> I didn't. You heard it. I you set you up. I was setting it up for me. No, I teed you up. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and Emma. On the dead. Of the dead. That's correct. Oh, Shaun darn it. Okay. It was right the first time. Machine still keeping that lead here. 5 4. Machine up by one as we get to our last. I was about to put Sean of the Dead, and then I was like, no, it's the other one. No, it was the one I was thinking of. Schmodown Patreon. Thank you to all of our patrons support. This Patreon question comes from a loyal Jake Hammer. Thank you, Jake. Jake Hammer? I've seen his name on there. Congratulations, Jake Hammer. Movies, action, maybe construction movies. He went with comedies. 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 Me. The end. What movie? Features the song Scotty Doesn't Know as a running gag throughout the film. The gag? The, the, Boy, the, the, uh, the, the crowd. crowd. The crowd yeah. seems to be a crowd favorite. You know this one or you don't kind right. of thing. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, ten, dude, ten, where's ten, my car? Janine. Euro trip. That's correct. Oh. I uh, did not know the answer, but I'd like to take this moment to thank all of the patrons. Oh, the oh, yeah. 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 Yes, that's very nice. I thought that was a very nice thing. So now we get to round number two. Who booed that? How many people know Euro Trip? Yeah, that's I've, true. I've never seen the movie. I didn't know it was that popular. Well, the machine saw it, and the machine has a two-point lead here over the golden mic. That's right now. Round number two. Well, I didn't see it, so it must be popular. Because I don't see unpopular movies. In round two, each competitor is going to get a spin at the golden wheel of justice. Each category on that wheel has Unless it's spotlight four for some reason. questions inside of it those questions are each worth two points if you're not sure of the answer you can check the multiple choice at which point the value of the question will go down to one no. keep in mind no to is stealing available come on emma round two and i would like to point out that one of our slices is from the bribe program your program brain emma fife is such a big fan of and that would be monster movies that is our sponsor monster slice. movies right, the machine they did the monster five. movie monster movie go first or second Ah, name call. It's not accurate because it's like blonde pink. Yeah, there's some there, there's some uh, some pink going on in there too. Yeah, it's, I, I no one animated. Denzel. And then modern classics. I put that on the wheel once. Um. Gonna be yeah. 2000. Two thousand. Again. One more okay, time. Not a fan of the movie category as far as a decade goes. 
So what are we doing here? One more time. Well, you don't have a choice. You have to do one more time. She's looking for something that would be in the realm of, I don't know, a Harry Potter. What would have those kind of things in it? Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. That might be the first time I've seen that on there. Sure. Highlight the question. Sure. Absolutely. Kate Winslet. Here we go. Kate Winslet. All right. Emma Fife. Yes. In the world of Kate Winslet movies, she's an actress in Hollywood. Yes, I am aware. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Thank another you. Por another thank porn you. Oh, oh. More uh, porn. Been added, yeah. And that's another porn that has escaped Jay Washington's mouth. Right, all right, here we go. Emma, your first question to you and your gaggle of porgs. <laughs> It's a murder of porgs. It's a murder? Yeah. I'm gonna murder them porgs. No, like crows. Anyway. Your question is, besides Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, what other Titanic star appeared in Revolutionary Road? Hmm. Billy Zane's the only guy I even know from it. I can provide that for you and your school of porgs. Is it A, Billy Zane, B, Kathy Bates, C, Bill Paxton, or D, Susie Amos? I'm gonna go with Billy Zane. Incorrect. Oh. Jane for the steal. Bill Paxton? Ah, oh. no point for either one of them. We're looking for Kathy uh. Bates. She'll club your heels if you miss <laughs> another question. Question two. Question number two. Who plays the older Michael Berg and Kate Winslet's co-lead in the movie The Reader? I'm gonna have to go multiple choice. <laughs> I got that for you and your flock. Uh, not looking good. A, Kevin Spacey. B, Ralph Fiennes. C, Patrick Wilson. Or D, Jude Law. I'm gonna say Ray Fiennes. Give her a <laughs> point. There you go. Okay. She's within one of Janine. And your next question. Emma Fife. Mm -hmm. Kate Winslet played the villain, Janine Matthews, in this film franchise based off a series of young adult books. Uh, beautiful creatures. Ooh. That is incorrect. Uh, we go to Janine. Divergent. Two points. Oh, damn. Opening up oh. three point lead. And she is Janine. not thinking Emma Thompson. We just heard that film franchise. Oh, right. Man. Oh, that's right. Wait, yeah, that's right. All right, Emma Fife, your last question to get within a point of Janine. Not machine. looking good. Kate Winslet starred opposite Michael Fassbender in this 2015 biopic. I'm gonna have to go multiple choice. <laughs> I can provide that for you and your uh -huh. pride of porgs. Is it A, The Mountain Between Us, B, Spotlight, C, Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs. or D, Concussion? Can you concussion. the answers again, please? Happy to. Is it The Mountain Between Us, Spotlight, Steve Jobs, or Concussion? I'm going to go Mountain Between Us, Steve Jobs. Correct. <laughs> and Ooh. Ooh. Not my day. Win. Without <laughs> even breaking mm. the wheel with the faintest of touches, yeah. has a four-point four point lead. lead. But now, but look, Emma needs some steals here, and mm -hmm. hopefully that she can land on something. A hopefully, we'll see yeah. What to Janine. Hopefully Janine, is the key to her. Janine, no help from a board no. spinning this wheel. Janine, if she lands on something, has a good spot to put <laughs> She, she just mission. going out there spinning something, going to take it, going to walk away. She's looking machine is looking I shouldn't be too disappointed because I picked Janine to win but it just it could be rom -coms, Christian. Rom -coms, which is a and I bet she'll take it yeah she says yes. this is something she is uh, it's a strength as I said okay here we go all right Janine you have four questions in the world of rom -coms, the first one Ryan Reynolds tells his daughter the story of how he met her mother in which 2008 film definitely maybe two points yeah two points. all right what was Amelie's occupation in the charming romantic comedy Amelie? Multiple choice. Is it A, market clerk, B, nanny, C, salon hairdresser, D, waitress? Hairdresser. Waitress? That's correct for yeah. one point. <laughs> All right. This is a pretty incredible run Janine's yeah. on right now. In the romantic comedy slash comedy, Dave, who plays the first lady, Ellen Mitchell? Emma Thompson? No, incorrect. Um, uh, Meryl Streep? Oh, no. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney uh, Weaver. Oh, the other one. Oh, I totally knew that. All right. All right. And Janine, two points here. Because of that, miss, there's no chance for a knockout, but here we go. In which film will you find Paul Rudd, a real estate, in search for a male best friend? 
I love you, man. For two points. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. Janine the Machine having a great well, 14 Well, warm up the car, folks. I think this one's going to end very quickly. Three. Mark, how does round number three work? Round number three works like this. Each competitor is going to give us three numbers that range from one to 20. Those numbers correspond to a category up here at our answer desk. Because Janine is so far up front, or even with a one-point lead, she's still got this honor. Janine's going to give us her numbers first. Then we'll get the numbers from Emma. Your first question is going to be worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. Your last question, should we get that far, is worth a big meeting. Should we get that far? Points. And that will determine the fate here today. Uh, Janine, without further ado, your numbers, please. Uh, three, six, and nine. Three, six, and nine. Going the all, those are, those are what, prime numbers? Emma, five. Oh, uh, no, they're, they're so multiples. Ten, seven, they're not prime. And six is not two. prime, Mark. One of those is a prime number. Do you go back to school? They were just multiples of three. In the game here, Jay Washington on his feet, hoping for this TKO. But here we go as we get to oh, oh, two more pugs coming in. Oh, we have. Uh, oh no! <laughs> All right, as we get too many pugs. Too many pugs as points right now, Christian. All right. Thank you. Uh, it's a, I'm, I'm Better get about 57 more. Hey, you just you just want heal on me. You just want heal on me. I never go heal. All right, here we go. So <laughs> as the good people at Coors Light asked me to. All right, all right, be nice to Emma Five. Here we go. Yeah. So we have number ten is what you chose. Yes. You chose Matthew McConaughey for your two points. Okay. All right. To stay in the game here, Emma, you need this. Who played Matthew McConaughey's co-lead Rayon in Dallas Buyers Club? Jared Leto. Two points. <laughs> all right. So Still in the game. The hmm. Poor clearly More poor. Her film knowledge. That jumps us to her three-pointer. Our three-pointer comes in the, in the realm of Sandra Bullock films. Okay. Sandra Bullock films. Who plays George Wade, an arrogant billionaire, real estate tycoon, in two weeks' notice? Ah. Uh, two weeks' notice. Hmm. Five. Four. Can you repeat four, the question? Four, the last JT. Yeah, she says, well, no, she has <laughs> Who plays George Wade, an arrogant billionaire real estate tycoon, in two weeks' notice? Is it Hugh Grant? Three points, Emma. Oh! Nice pull there, Emma. The most. Her back is against the wall yes. this entire <laughs> round. If she gets this yes. next question right, takes Christian, the lead. inexplicably, <laughs> Janine the Machine is now going to have to come to play in round three as well. She takes the lead. All right, so here is your five-pointer. It is in the realm of Scorsese films. Paul Schrader was the screenwriter of which Martin Scorsese film? I will uh, repeat the question. Paul Schrader was the screenwriter of which Martin Scorsese film? Uh, I will say Gangs of New York. <laughs> and you're with mm. The Porgs have failed you. Oh, at least they should hit. That's nice. Gets a victory over Emma Fife. He's very excited, but I mean, but fine. There you go. Only took you 63 years. By any stretch of the imagination, yeah, but clearly, Emma, Emma didn't want to play in singles. She was just, she was just accepting the challenge because she was up here, and Emma does not stray from her challenge. She was challenged. She said yes. Emma is managing a very. She's good a great operation. manager of a great faction. Yeah. Um, but, but you need the machine. I mean, you, you talk about it, it's one impressive. thing to manage a faction. It's another thing to put a faction on your back. And it seems to be what Janine the Machine's yeah. MO is because she's taking the Viper squad. And as we said in the pregame, elevating them to another level with this victory here today. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in these post interviews because I'm sure we have a lot of matchups that could potentially happen. We got to get more Brianne. What's up? Smoke? Yeah. Oh, boy. Fans, I am here with. Janine the Machine, the first place finisher today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling perfect. I'm glad you're feeling perfect. Someone else is feeling very excited right now. Jay, <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. Isn't this beautiful? I didn't wonderful. Hey. We said we were going to do something, and we, she did it phenomenally. It was beautiful. 
Janine didn't even have to answer a question in the third round. Do you get how dope that is? You wouldn't. But it's so dope. I swear to God. <laughs> I definitely would not because I'm not on that level, and that's okay. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? I feel like we can rub salt in this wound a little bit more. I feel like just a little well, bit let's more. Let's just make it about Janine. So Janine. What <laughs> Let's talk about uh, where, <laughs> at what point in the match you felt that you had command over the entire match. Uh, from the beginning. Okay, just the very beginning. beginning. That's it. Even though Done. You the first question. Yes. And how many first questions have you missed? Probably all of them. I'm not quite sure. But I missed. I didn't miss any in that free for all when I won the whole thing. You haven't had anyone else do that for you, Jay. Anyways, let's make that I into wasn't me. There. There's a reason you weren't there. Hey. I want to mm. know what's going on with Marquia here. Can you tell me or would... I would let Marquia, okay, Marquia tell you herself. I would like to hear what she's had. Marvelous, Marquia. Marquia. As she Marvelous. stabs the poor. Now, um, it's been a while. I've watched people on Schmodown. I've watched Schmodown itself. i watched championships come and go. And I realize it deserves me. Schmodown deserves Marvelous Marquia McCarty. And in particular, Viper Squad deserve me. You know who else deserves me? Rachel Cushing. Rachel Cushing. Also known as the Crusher. <laughs> You're challenging her right now. Rachel, prepare to be crushed. Because you deserve me, baby. You deserve everything that you're about to get. So prepare yourself, but there's no preparation for Marvelous. Wow. Hmm. Are we, we're That's bold. Single? Hey, wait, are we talking, wait, 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 it's more, it's more though. Okay, I want to know more, I want to know more. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> I'm about to take on the android. The machine wants to take on the android. You gotta just put that nail in that coffin on, on the fight club, uh, I get more, it. There's more, there's more, there's more. Would you, until you interrupted me, I'm gonna pour salt on this wound so much. Morton salt, ice salt, rock salt. Oh, Emma Fife, the inner geekdom gauntlet is coming up. And guess what? You get another helping of the Viper Squad in the head of this big snake right here. I'm finna take your ass down so much, you can cry a puddle of pouring tears and it won't matter. So at the end of the day, Marvelous Marquia McCarty, Janine the Machine, Stacy who put in work, and the Urban Gladiator about to shut this thing down. And it's only two things you can do about it. Nothing and deal with it. Damn it. Nice quote, Farouk. Mm. I am back with the second place finisher. With Emma 57 pours. I like all together, second I also place finisher. Need... That sounds nice. That's Out of right. two. But you know what? It sounds better than loser, so I appreciate that. It was a difficult start for you in this part. How are you feeling? Yeah, at this you moment? know, honestly, I don't care. I mean, this is the thing. Janine played great. I she did play can't great. argue against that. She played extremely well, and obviously, Jay Washington is very happy, and, you know, I think he needs a win. I don't play in this league. I was challenged by her, and so I said, okay, sure, no problem. So you just did this to not back down from a challenge. Exactly, is that kind of yeah. what it's oh, all yes. about? The Fight Club does not back down from a challenge. Ooh, but speaking of not backing down from a challenge, there's a few challenges that were issued to other people in your club here. Okay. Um, Janine has challenged Mark. I I never met her, so sure, I'll fight her. Yeah. <laughs> sure, and we also that's have amazing. The newest member of the Viper Squad challenging you, Rachel. Yeah, um, she's never played. Maybe she's marvelous, maybe she's not. But like you said, we take the challenges seriously around here, uh, and it's inner geekdom, so I'm on a mission in that league. So sorry, Marquia, not gonna happen. Not going to happen. Uh, what's also not going to happen is getting Tylenol after that interview with Jay, which is what I need right now. Um, but here's what I want to know. Don't do Tylenol. What is Just do a leave. It's so Viper much better. Squad and the Fife Club. What is, is there jealousy? What is going on? Why do they want you so badly? I mean, I think it's obvious. Jay Washington was making a big play for Clark Wolf back in the day when it was the Misfits. You remember the Misfits, Brianne? I try to forget. And, uh, you know, Rachel Cushing kept saying no, no, no. And then I stepped in, thanks to the help of Mark Andreco, who agreed to be a competitor for my league. And, uh, you know, Rachel, along with Clark, just jumped right in there. So, frankly, uh, I manage champions. That's what I do. But if anybody else wants to issue a challenge, I'll always say, sure, why not? If you
you defeat me, then I know that maybe you're going to be a worthy opponent for one of my players. Mm, very good. The rivalry continues, and I'm so glad I'm not a part of it. All right, so Mark has accepted a challenge. Rachel has accepted the challenge. Jay challenged you. I'm assuming you're accepting that challenge. Yeah. What did I say? Fife Club doesn't back down from a challenge. Bring it, Jay. And she's going to destroy him. She's all sound and fury, signifying zero. Signifying zero is what we like to hear about Jay. Back to you guys. I mean, look at that. All that stuff that went down. That was incredible. Look, first of all, let's start with the with just the machine who caught the challenge. The challenge. Hand. Challenges Mark everywhere. Here. Mark and Draco now opposed, continuing this continuing this faction where we have and Draco now versus the machine. That is very interesting how that's going to go down. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there. And then Jay Washington. The story here is Jay Washington and Marquia. They both know that that inner geekdom that, that we have that inner geekdom yep. gauntlet happening. Jay Washington challenging Emma Fife immediately uh, to, to a match inside of that inner geekdom. Emma Fife accepts it. And then Marquia challenges Rachel Cushing, and Cushing accepts it. So right now we have the Fife Club and, and the Viper Squad going head to head to head. We have so many matches between these factions. Who's going to come out on top? Yeah, the, the, the Marquia Rachel matchup is an interesting one, as is Jay. I don't think he's fully gotten over what happened at the Spectacular last year, but I don't want to bury the headline. Not here. gotten it's over. It's been six months she came to win and she had emma fife on the ropes emma fife a game effort, especially in round three when she needed it the most janine the machine just too strong in those first two rounds christian well there you go the machine starting i mean making a play now for rookie of the year here to her ethan Irwin, so many people out here janine starting out big two and oh comes from being a fan in this league to really showing what she can do tko over emma fife here this is big and if she can do it what she can do if mark andreco looks like he's going to accept if he accepts the match then my goodness what's going to happen there the android versus the machine all right so there we go guys that is it that's the match first of all thank you very much for joining thank you for being a patron of your thank you and this thank is you we both it. talked about it at 2500 patrons Myself and Mark Ellis will finally face each other one on one when we get that get 2500. Me that so we'll see what happens there. Make sure that you do that, and then it all goes down June 2nd. It's gonna happen. The Star Wars number one contender triple threat match Knapsack, Damon, Scrimshaw. The winner will play Sam Witwer at a later date, and then the main event. We just talked about them. Well, you're going to see them live if you're there at the El Portal Theater. The Shire Wolves go head to head against Team Action. They go team whoop action wins, that they ass. And the Shire Wolves will be that gateway there. If they cut them off at right, then the action will not get a shot. It all goes down. Get your tickets. So much on the line. Who will Sam Whitwer be looking at? Will Team Action prevail? Will Rachel Cushing have any porgs left tomorrow night? You're going to find out. And thank oh, you to I hope not. out there watching here. Damn, porgs. Here. Video. Check out the Spodown rundown on Apple Podcasts and the movie. Trip now they were pogs. Bring it on. I'm Mark Ellis. Would you like to say adieu? Bye. Three rounds in the Inner Geekdom Division for the number one contender. Introducing first he is the Urban Gladiator. Jay Washington! Stacy Howard, stand by Jay's side, oh, waiting. Wow. Grant has not been seen. We haven't seen Grant. Yeah, it's awesome. it's just, there you go. It is Jay Washington really milking it in, loving the booze, taking the step. Yeah, right. yeah, we know he Bobby Roode. Gleason, and with that, Jay Washington has oh. been eliminated. But what a show what a by show. Jay Washington. Absolutely. Jay Washington proved. Jay, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. You did quite well today. Pretty impressed? Yeah. Why aren't you not shocked? It's better than pretty pissed. Did you not see the score? Did you not see how I kept up? Sure. Were you just as shocked when I beat Robert Meyer Burnett when he was crying? Were you just as shocked that I'm even here to do that? Huh? So you are basically saying that you're absolutely coming back and you're going to personally take people down in the spectacular in you some form or another. Yeah, pretty much. I have that, uh, that manager's bowl <laughs> thing with yeah. Tom Manager and Jay, and I, thing. I, I guess currently now Rick. I was thinking... I would like to participate in that match. I know that you love
subcontracts, so I just happen to have one here. Yes, okay. he does. I mean, we found out earlier in the video. Uh, you're in. Winning the first manager ball. The Golden Knights! Yeah! How do you feel right now? You don't look good. What happened back there, man? Man, I have to blank out and watch Emma Five get her face. Didn't we Bobby already Potter see this? Harry How do you think I feel? Got like showed again. How do you think? Again and again and again. Utterly, ultimately, okay. Do, do I hear you right? It. You're challenging Emma Five to a movie trivia showdown, man. It's not that hard to understand. I accept. And your winner. Wow! It's like we just saw this. Just in I mean, case you weren't sure what just if happened. Else wants to issue a challenge, I'll always say, sure, why not? I'm gonna pour salt on this wound so much. More than salt. Just in I case salt. you forgot this salt. promo five minutes ago. Gauntlet is coming up, and guess what? You get another helping of the Viper Squad in the head of this big snake right here. I'm gonna take your ass down so much, you can cry a puddle of poor tears and it won't Inner Geekdom. Kind of like this shirt here, only there's no Inner Geekdom there. Hello, you again. Watch it change shirts. Did you sweat through the last ones? Hey! He, Christian, wearing my shirt. Only his is a little bit more dirty. The manager, the Obsessed creator of the match. Fight Club, going up against the creator and the manager of the Viper Squad, Jay, the Urban Gladiator, Washington. Yeah, Christian, I mean, if you look at this and you're digging through a pile of pudding that you would have in Double Dare and you're trying to find that red flag that is mm. to Jason Double Dare Andrew, reference. Which one of these Still not as good as Legends of the Hidden Temple. Sorry. Flag. It's covered in pudding and slime and slop. Well, there's, I don't think there's an easy choice here because if you look, they've done battle in the singles. If you go back to the manager bowl the showdown spectacular emma fife taking that victory winning the shot giving it to um, clark wolf who came that close and winning the championship used it very smart she formed the with the shower wolf pillow right next to it and jay that's amazing do that so when you look at that there's a victory over there but then you look at what washington has done with his with his squad Janine just beat Fife mm -hmm. in the singles league. Um, you've got a new Marquia who's now going up against Rachel Cushing. Stacey Howard is just playing incredible right now. She's four and one. Janine's going up against Andrego. There's this just big beef here between the Fife Club and the Viper Squad, and it's all going to come to a head right here. Christian, I'll tell you this. I still think Emma Fife is the favorite because if she gets one of the wheels that is her strength, she can knock Jay out of the water. Jay knows a little bit about a lot of things. I think Emma Fife, what could smile upon her today? But he yeah, knows them comic book really movies very, very well. Over the former champion, Robert Meyer Burnett, and he also held... Oh, he's loud. And he also held very, very... Loud. When everyone thought he was going to get annihilated by Rachel Cushing and Inman, and he didn't. He came in third in that in that fatal five way but he fought really hard jay washington is, has proven i think jay washington's a lot stronger in the inner geek than well, he was in wait no i'm talking about in this competition ah uh, uh, he made a strength joke general trivia um but this is something that jay's dangerous in this competition there's no doubt about it but it's going to be a good match i can't wait to see it and both of the competitors talk about it here we go in times of war two generals are allowed to meet up to have preparation and have what's called rules of engagement, to draw the battle lines. And in this situation, that's what I did with Emma Fife. We made an agreement, if you will, that there'll be no vipers, there'll be no club. It'll just be myself and her. Oh, Jay. I just think that this is a person who really has never gotten over the fact that I beat him in the manager's bowl and no matter what happens today that's not gonna undo that the fact that Emma Fife won the 
unmanageable has been festering, eating at my soul day in and day out, watching the showdown, being a part of it, and just remembering that she won. And when she won, she brought on the android. And then for some reason, she was able to get two people I couldn't get. Do you understand how much that has frustrated me nonstop? This time, this moment, I let it all out. Honestly, I do want to beat Jay Washington today because I would like to get that loud mouth out of the way so that Rachel Cushing, who we all know is the future Inner Geekdom champion, can yes, go we on do her journey that. without him constantly screaming in her ear. And you know what? Frankly, Jay, if you do emerge victorious today and you and Rachel face off against one another, oh well. At least somebody from the Fife Club will take you down. I am not playing any games no more. I've had to keep talking and begging and pleading to that Hawaiian shirt wearing idiot commissioner about finally having another match, and here I am. So I'm telling you this there's no more games in the Fife. There's no more costumes. There's no more luck. This is said and done. And no it's more baboons. You can do about it. Nothing and Avada Kedavra. I don't care, Jay. Ah, uh, this grudge is Harry Potter reference. Against me. There's no right Damn. between us because my faction is superior to yours. End of story. The end. See, that's what I'm talking about. They really know how to yap in front they of do. a microphone. Yeah. It's just who can summon more knowledge when it's actually on the desk? What is inside these particular heads? What's also very interesting is that they came to agreement that you're not going to get the Viper Squad here. You're not going to get the Fife Club. It's just going to be one on one. Here's the battle, and they're going to get to it. And the other thing I found very interesting, if you saw the beginning of this match, Originally, it was talked about that at the Collider Collision, there was going to be a fatal five-way to determine. That is no longer the case. Uh, the ruling was made by Commissioner Thad Williams. Now it's going to be a tournament of all these matches. Now eight mm. matches, eight matches throughout those eight matches. Then they're going to play the winners. It's like a full-on tournament here now for the Inner Geekdom leading mm -hmm. up to the collision. Darn the it. winner will then play in. I'd rather seen the five-way. Yeah, new uh, opportunities for new competitors who didn't think they were going to have a shot at this thing. Yeah, I mean, I used to hate that Thad Williams was the commissioner. I might be singing a different in tune he's giving a lot of opportunities to a lot of newcomers well that's why i want to know what was in that envelope that he opened up in the beginning of this thing because he didn't seem like he wanted to do it but there's more on that later all right i'm ready to get going how about you uh well i want to hear the tale of the tape well, because the tale of the tape look, you, you look at emma fife you know that she's strong at poor collecting you look at jay washington you know he's really good at taking selfies yeah what's that fourth strength gonna be of emma's really good at when it comes to the hordes all right so here we go inner geekdom emma fife is good at poor loving uh, i was almost right and Pork loving. That's like, oh, well that, it, it is, that is that. adorable. Yeah. Did you say yeah. pork consumption? Does she know? Does she have a no, recipe no, cookbook? No, she loves pork. She won't eat them, you heathen. And then Jay Washington, DC movies, comic book movies in general, and taking selfies of himself at the table. Taking gym. sweaty he selfies. That's kind of weird. Well. Right. So that's it. That yeah. is absolutely. That Pack is a lot of protein. Okay, I'm ready to get going. How about you? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, right. Look at this shirt. It's terrible. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time Not for nice the movie, movie trivia showdown. Pick two. Three rounds in the inner geekdom division. Introducing first. Representing the Fight Club. She is the 2017 Manager Bowl winner. The Golden Mike, Emma Fife! It's almost like she's dressed like the color scheme of the Inner Geekdom League here. Do you think that was done on purpose? I don't know if it was done on purpose. She's blending into the actual set. Maybe she doesn't want Jay Washington to find a snake on and a her. And sneak attack. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Sneak attack. <laughs> a sneak attack. And ah. With a record of one win. One defeat in the inner geekdom division. He is oh. the creator of the Viper Club. Ladies and gentlemen, the Urban Gladiator, Jay Washington. You got rid of glorious domination. Instant heal. Instant heal. No glorious, that's why they're booing you. They know what good music is. Not even really worried about 
representing the Viper Club as much as himself. That's right. In this matchup. Well, that's what he wants to what? do. What a he's, shame. He's got some strong competitors in that faction, but what can he do himself here today in Inner Geekdom? Can he go to two and one? We're going to find out. All right, Mark, what are the rules for round number one? In round number one of the Inner Geekdom match, the competitors are going to hear ten questions from Great. ten different... Great! Two more questions that I can Geekdom. get wrong. The questions are to the field. As soon as you hear the question asked, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at the correct answer on the whiteboard provided in front of you. We kindly gave you markers to write on those whiteboards so you do not have to use your own blood. Each question is worth one. Oh, There's no penalty goodness. for missing a question. There is no stealing available in round one. There's many cute okay. Insane no question. During the match here today, Christian. Yeah, 15 seconds to answer the question. JTE rules and the challenges. Make Unless sure you go, that you I steal them. your right pay answer. Pay attention to how many you have and how many you have left. Okay, so Jay, are you ready? Let's do this. Emma, are you ready? A reminder that porgs are friends, not food. Let's do it. <laughs> and let's get ready to schmoo down. Yay! All right, here we go. Round number one. Question number one in the realm of Star Trek. 1986 saw the release of which number Star Trek film? Which number Star, which Trek, number Star Trek film? There's been like uh, 38, I believe, by last count. Robert Meyer Burnett would know they would know. Name, five, but, uh, four, 38 ish. Three. It two, is three. One. Pens down, Jay. Star Trek Rapcon. That's incorrect. I Emma. don't remember Rapcon. <laughs> the second one is wrong. It was number four, which is The Voyage Home. The oh! One with the whales! <laughs> I oh, like darn it. One with the because I like whales. Don't eat whales either. Oh, that was 88. Oh, no, that makes sense. I keep forgetting of the final frontier, Star Trek V, for obvious reasons. It sucks. seen to be holding what in his lap when Gandalf and Pippin come to see him in the return of the king? You ever seen a return of a king? I saw for the first time on a plane, and as really? we were landing, I had to turn it off right before the end. Oh, well. Heartbreaking. All five yeah. endings? Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, Emma. Uh, Boromir's horn. That's correct. I said Nargio. Oh, Emma Fife mm. going up one nothing here Good. over Jay Washington. We also would have accepted a cloven right. horn. All right, so Emma is up uh, one nothing. All right, so Emma Fife is up one nothing here as we get to our next question, and that is in the category of the MCU. Category of the MCU. In the Guardians of the Galaxy films, how does Yondu control his arrow? You and him are good friends. Yeah. I like that. He mic. don't uh, use his head. Like he yeah. uses his heart. Taking his hand in a uh, mall rat. Five. I know. I won't do that. Four. Kyle Three. Negroti. Two. One. Pens down, please. Jay. Whistling that through the fin on his head. Correct. <laughs> I, I wrote with a laser gun because oh, I had no idea. Oh wow. Yeah, that's no. Shocking. Okay. He wow, uses shocking. his yeah. heart, <laughs> as he said in volume two. <laughs> It's like Rocket Raccoon's a little cat chasing after <laughs> yeah. the little exactly. laser. Look it up. Not Volume 2 is great. Next question. From the world of Harry Potter, what animal form does the Patronus take that leads Harry to Gryffindor's sword in the Deathly Hallows Part 1? Uh, yeah. Let it go? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I look at us as fair. I don't know. So I'll just write down my favorite football team mascot. A Raven. One pens down, please. And we're going to. Is it Jay here? Uh, Jay. A horse? Incorrect. A doe? Correct. A deer. Emma, five a gets female it deer. And five gets it. Goes back up 2 1 here on Jay Washington. Next one is from DC. DC movies. Mark Strong played which Green Lantern Corps leader in the 2011 Ryan Reynolds shitbox film? <laughs> Funny! You added shitbox to that. Good. That will bring us back to do, do, five, do, do, four, do, do, three, stop it, a do, two, <laughs> one, pens down, and Emma Fife. I'm going to echo Christian's sentiments and just say, who's even seen that? <laughs> well, see if Jay has seen it. I have, because it's Sinestro. That's correct. <laughs> okay. Two, two. Oh, uh, the uh, obvious one. Fourth we go, two, two. <laughs> Next question. We go to the world of The Hobbit. These are movies made Yay. in Yay, another one I won't get. But they take place before. <laughs> what is the name? Of Bilbo Baggins' home in the Shire. Not Collier Shire. Me, the name well, come on, I call myself. <laughs> far a we long, people, long way to run. We want people to watch this five. I think I got all no of them. No one will ever watch this match again. 
Thanks, and Mark. Please and Jay. She knows that I don't. Emma. <laughs> I do. It's back end. <laughs> correct. <laughs> that is correct. Can we get partial correct? Can we give a half point? <laughs> that, was, that was adorable. It's amazing how we go back and forth here. Next, <laughs> next question here. Next question is from the DCEU. Um, I, I can't see anybody missing this one. Who plays Aquaman in Justice League? Ah! Well, it's your turn. Yes. To be a Von Trapp child. I want you to stop this. Okay, two I want, more. I, you got to stop. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. If either one of you gets it wrong, you're going to be asked to leave. Emma? Uh, that would be Jason Momoa. And yes. Jay? Jason Momoa playing Jason Momoa <laughs> as Aquaman. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Jason Momoa. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Tremendous hair on that young man. I'm going to say before you read it, I love this next question. All right. Your next Do question it. comes from the world of Star Wars. Oh, I'm shocked. In a galaxy far, far away, what color of lightsabers did Anakin Skywalker use to execute Count Dooku in Revenge of the Sith? <laughs> Talk about a spoiler alert, am I right? Too soon. Well, pick that up again. Oh, Talk no, about a no, spoiler no. alert, am I right? Four. Keep reading questions. Uh, Keep watching. Yeah. Okay. What color of lightsabers did Anakin Skywalker use to execute Count Dooku in Revenge of the Sith? Where did that Five. rank in your favorite? I think you're wrong. We'll talk. Three. It's purple. I said blue. Two. One. Pens down. Jay. Blue and green? Incorrect. Uh, red and blue? No, you're right. Ah, right. damn it. Right. 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 But it was, blue. it was yeah, red and right. blue. Damn it. It was red oh, and it blue. It said what color? It was uh, singular. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I, I accept the uh, Jane Fonda ruling on that. All right. Here, here we go. That was a Jane Fonda <laughs> ruling. It threw me off. Right. Uh, so it said what color? Yeah. Not what right, colors. So here we go. Mar Marvel. Marvel is your category. Marvel. I like how MF5 accepted that she didn't follow the rules and didn't get the point and she didn't argue about it. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, Marvel. Didn't Marvel. have to have a 20 minute no, debate about no, it. No, and I can sleep easier. Marvel. And because of that, Emma, you can uh, choose another wheel to spin on whenever you... Uh, you know, give her, give her three <laughs> points. Jay will sign off on it. All right, here we go. Who, uh, Marvel. Marvel. Who played Cyclops in 2000's X-Men? Well, you don't like going for X-Men? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you say it like, like it's their last name. X-Men. Like, oh, yeah, those are the Williamses and the X-Men. Oh, yeah, Lewis X-Men. Yeah. Hi, I'm Bob X-Men. His last name is... X-Men. And five, four, three... Can you repeat the question? Absolutely. Who played Cyclops in 2000's X-Men? Thank you. See, that was, you put the... X-Men. No, no, no. Do you know what you're doing? Do you know you're missing it? Get off me. Five. Big gross Four. <laughs> armpits. Three. Sweating on me. Two. One. Pens down. Emma. I totally brain dead. Could not come up with the name. <laughs> okay. And James Marsden. That's Marsden. correct. Marsden. I put Mark. Marsden. Washington and Emma have both I was close. Of their JT rules. I was close. The jab as we go on to James the last question in round one. Your tenth one. And it comes from the category like of that. mixed bag. And your query is, which actor plays the role of Sulla in Indiana Jones and Gimli in Lord of the Rings. Not a wide swath of geekdom. No, I'll tell you, it's, and it's it's tied. They both they've they've missed a handful. They've gotten a handful. Four to four. Yep. And this is this is going to be big going into round two. And five. Nope. Four. Three. Enlighten me. One J. Didn't get it. Emma. Davies. Got it. Okay, and look at that. Emma Five goes up. Five, five, four. As we now, we're getting into round two. Mark, how does round two work? Round number two, affectionately known as the wheel. Round. I've been stinking it up lately in the interview stuff, which disappoints me greatly. I used to take pride that I do that a lot more than the single stuff. Well, which point you must ever the not no more. Destiny chooses to give you once you settle on a movie category you will have five questions again it's inner geekdom five questions are yours to be answered each question is worth two points if you're not sure of the answer you can check the multiple choice at which point the value of the question goes down to one keep in mind competitors there is stealing available in round two all right emma you are in the lead here do you want to go first or second uh, I will go second. You're gonna go second. All right, Jay, you're up there. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, interesting choice. Yeah. Yeah. Emma's walking over here. He yeah. is wearing a classic Chicago Bulls hat. Now you know he's looking for DC, DCU, or anything in the comic world. That's what he's looking for. He's spinning away from Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. 
Will he be amongst the all time <laughs> None of that, please. Jerry Sloan. He's got, he, wants to, he wants to start off strong here. And there's a good strategy by Fife to make, kind of put the pressure on him. Going away. Oh, and we're looking at Star Trek, perhaps, Christian. Oh, DC. Oh, Ooh. It lands on DC. What's he going to do? This is, a, this is, a, this is a kind of a little bit of a See, they changed the Star Wars wedge. They, they used that for the DC movie. He did original points of concern with the movie. Yeah. DC properties and Not the actual he category. Did. He's going again. That Whoa. That's scary. That could have, have been that fatal. fatal. That might That's surprising. Fatal, depending on what he lands on. I mean, this could be a Big Star risk. Trek. This could be a Harry Potter. I don't know. I'm questioning that decision. I think Jay Washington knew DC movies. I think he's hunting uh, maybe a Marvel movie category on. He there, might be. But he might be. Not, it doesn't look like it's going to get there, Christian. This could be DC movies all over again. Uh, it's DC okay. Stuck with it. No this harm done. Got DC movies anyway, no matter what. So all right. he's got it. Walking back. Like I don't think he's uh, devastated by that result. Okay, here you go, Jay. DC movies. Five questions in DC. Who played the mobster Gamble that put the hit out on the Joker in The Dark Knight? Which actor? Played the mobster. Game. Michael J. White. That's correct. All hmm. right. For two points. Two points. Didn't even need Enough choice. on the clap. All right. Next question. In Superman 2, what is the name of Zod's second in command played by Sarah Douglas? Multiple choice. Is it A, Ursa, B, Barda, C, Mera, D, Feora? Barda. Feora. Incorrect. Is it A or S? That's correct for one oh. more steal. Yes. Back to tied. It was A or B. Three it was questions yeah. left. All right. Who played the villainous Quentin Turnbull in the Abomination Jonah Hex? You gotta stop. That's abominations, not in the question. Impartial arbitrage. You are therefore just giving your opinion. B. Clancy Brown. C. Stephen Lang. D. Jonathan Schick. Stephen Lang. Stephen Lang. Incorrect. Uh, can I hear the choices again? Yes. Is it A, John Malkovich, B, Clancy Brown, C, Stephen Lang, D, Jonathan Schech? Clancy Brown? Is that what you said? Uh, no, he said Stephen Lang. Lang. No, no, Clancy sorry, Brown. both yeah. wrong. Both Neither uh, one. John Malkovich was the answer. Oh, John okay. Malkovich. No. All right. So now question number four. Who was credited as Superman's biological father, Jor-El, in Superman Returns? With the, uh, the actor. The actor. Multiple choice. A. Marlon Brando. B. Anthony Hopkins. C. Liam Neeson. D. Dustin Hoffman. Anthony Hopkins. Four choice. Five. Four. Three. Two. Liam Neeson. Incorrect. Marlon Brando. One point for Emma Fife. Really? They brought back Brando's uh, likeness yes. for yep. Superman yeah. Returns. Yep. All right. Hmm. That's a trick question. Okay. Here we go. One more. Green Lantern's ring and power batteries are fueled by Will. What? Yeah, Will is correct. Two well, points for just, Jay. Got just, that one. Is okay. that really what powers it? Just good old-fashioned want to? All right. So Jay, now <laughs> it was a good strategy by Emma to, to go second here because now she is up after five questions in round. One for J round two for Jay, that's and now right. she's up. She's up spinning. Jay Washington yeah. up one point, but uh, that, that's not what you want to see your lead dwindle to after you've already gone in round two. Round and round the wheel goes. Uh, she's hunting Harry Potter, Tons maybe of Lord of the Rings. And Looks like we're getting on. Star Wars, perhaps, Christian. Ooh, she hit this against Inman, and she it did not go well, her way last How many last poor time. questions do we have? I know, that's the question. She knows Star Wars, but it did not treat right. her well she's against Inman. She's seen the movies. Yeah. Huh. What is she going to do? She's paid money for tickets to see Star Wars. Go we for it. Come on. Five, four. Spinning away spin from again. Star Wars. Oh, yeah. no. Spinning away. A lot of people this up here it. on this answer desk yeah. would not have done the same thing. Well, no. She, again, like I said, she did it against Inman. It just didn't go her way. She should probably want to try something else. Here we go. Looking for maybe a... I don't think we have a hobby. away from Star Wars. Oh, oh, that might be big. Could be... Oh! Mm. Oh, and look at Jay Washington. Look at that. Look at Jay Washington. Harry Potter. Mm, mm, mm. And, goodness. Um, oh, my goodness. This is One worked be, out. The other right did. He's going to need to get some sort of crazy steal here in round two to have he a is. shot in round he three. Is. If, Emma, this is her strength. All right. Move to Harry Potter questions. Emma Fife, your first question in the world of Mr. Potter. Mm -hmm. In Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone... What number is the vault 
that the Sorcerer's Stone is kept in. 713. It would have been funnier if it was 69, but you are correct. No. Should have been 1,873. Your next question in round two, Harry Potter movies. What are the objects that are used to store part of a person's soul called in Harry Potter? Horcruxes. Wow. Two, Two more, more points. points. Mm. Has not broken a yeah. sweat yet. Yeah. All right, Emma. In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, what precious material are Okami eggs made out of? Uh, can I have multiple choice, please? Certainly. Is it A, gold, B, silver? C platinum or D bronze. I believe it is gold. That is incorrect, Jay Washington, for the steal. Silver. Uh, uh, you had it right there. It was silver. silver. Never seen the movie, and I know that. Man. Questions here left in Harry Potter. All right, Emma. Your next question and your penultimate one. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, what does Ron tell Draco to eat? but the spell backfires on him. Slugs. Two, Two more points. points. It's a five-point yeah. lead. We're definitely going to a round three. Yeah. It's just a question of how much suspense we'll be in because Emma Five has one more question. She can extend this lead to seven. Here's the query. What is the name of the gossipy reporter that appears in the Goblet of Fire? Rita Skeeter. Two it is Rita Skeeter. Mm. 15 wow. to 8, and Jay Washington. He's in trouble. Warm up the broomstick. This There's might not last much longer. And look at that. So Jay Washington is on the ropes here going into round number three. Would you have spun away from Star Wars knowing what you know now about Emma Fife's ability? I think it was the wise move to spin away from that other it nerdy galaxy that's way off somewhere well, Yeah, like I said, mm. she, had that, she had that against uh, Jason. It didn't go her way, so she, she tempted fate, and fate was nice. To Blue and red lightsabers against Jay Washington's head. All right, round three, Mark. How's it going? It would have bombed, round like Solo. Oh, no. The range from one to 16. Those numbers correspond to a different category up here on our answer desk from some world of geekdom. Your first question is going to be worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. Your last question, should we get that far, is worth five points. Points. Emma Fife is in the lead. Jay so Washington is although Jay Washington is the favorite, Emma Fife will be giving us her three numbers Sorry. first. Yes, you're right. If I can continue, <laughs> then Jay Washington will give us the numbers. Right. All right, Emma, go ahead. Give us three numbers from one to sixteen. Uh, four, nine, and thirteen. All right, Jay really needs some good numbers here. Jay, what do you got? He's in a daze. Fourteen. Two six, and two, six and yeah. two, six, and fourteen? Yeah. Two, six, and fourteen. So, Jay Washington needs, he needs at least two, uh, he needs a five-pointer for sure, and he's going to need all the points he can get. I think it's fair yes. to say that. going to need a lot. Hard. No, he needs the five and the six. Right. Math is, whoo, okay. boy, after 10th mm. grade, it gets really tough. <laughs> School's great, folks. Your first one is for number two. Get out of here, will you? Please don't. Oh, shut I up. dare you. No way. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, here you go. In the Indiana Jones series, who said the following quote? I find that if I just sit down, the solution presents itself. And he's dead. Five. And he's father. Four. Three. Repeat the question. It's your second one. In the Indiana Jones series, who said the following quote? I find that if I just sit down, the solution... This is when he sat itself. down on the bench that opened the, the stairway at the bottom. Indiana Jones? Incorrect. Looking for Indiana Jones' father, Henry Jones Henry. Sr. <laughs> so now Jay Washington is in a position... We're at that time. If Jay misses this three-pointer, yeah. Emma Fife will win via TKO yeah. over Jay Washington. Got to hit the three-pointer. What Jay category Washington did he get? Jay Washington chose number six... This is going to be nice for him. It's the DCEU. Okay. The DCEU. Here you go. Jay, to stay alive, in Justice League, name two of the groups that joined the Amazons in foiling Steppenwolf's plans thousands of years ago. The Lanterns and the Atlanteans. That is correct. Okay. Right. So okay. now... So he has a chance to regain he the does. lead here if he hits this question. If he gets this, he avoids the TKO and he forces uh -huh. it back to Emma Fife, but he's got to hit it. It's number 14. That's villains. That's villains. Okay. He wants to be a villain. Yeah, posts about all the time. All right. In 19, this is it. In villains. In 1989's Batman at the museum, 
Vicky Vale asks the Joker what he wants. What was his initial response? A song. A song, a dance, Batman's head on a lance. That is correct. <laughs> okay. That is also correct. would have accepted his faith on the one dollar bill, but uh, he did want songs and dances and Batman's heads that on lance. That is correct. All right, so. That's a huge Jay Washington guess. fought his way out of the TKO, and now he forces Emma Fife to try to win the game on any one of her questions. If she just hits one question, she wins. Mark, she chose number four. What did she choose? Uh, number four is your two-pointer, Emma. And up here, it corresponds to a category that may not thrill fans of the Viper Squad or Jay Washington. That would be Lord of the Rings. And your two-point question is, in Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, who found the ring after Isildur? Isildur. Close Isildur. Lost it. Smeagol. It was Smeagol and Deagle, eventually oh, oh. Gollum. And your winner! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Knight, Emma Five. Five does it. She beats the Urban Gladiator. Hey, I want. And what? Because she said Smeagol at first. Smeagol is Deagle. I know, it's Smeagol and Deagle. They both found it. And then later Smeagol killed Deagle, and then he became Gollum. She said Smeagol initially, and then you had to repeat it. So I'm challenging it. Challenge. All right, challenge. 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 Here's, the thing. Here's the thing, though, I, is I that Smeagol isn't wrong. It's not, but it's Smeagol and Deagle. Well, then I would challenge the way the question is challenge. worded. All right, here's the, here's the challenge. The challenge is on the board. Mm. We already had a winner announced in our shenanigans. All right, we're coming back from the challenge. The challenge on the board was that uh, Emma Fife initially, she said Smeagol for the answer, and Jay challenged it because she said Smeagol and Deagle. They are not the same person. They are different people. It is Deagle. We're going to award Jay Washington Deagle got the challenge. First. So it was Deagle. Five. Deagle was a different person. So now Emma Deagle Five has to hit her first. three. The match mm, still continues. That was, uh, and we get to our second question here, and that is... Uh, all right. Emma Five chose number nine, I believe, for her three-pointer. And that corresponds to a category that you spun away from in round two, and that would be Star Wars. Nothing but Star Wars for three points and the win. Emma Fife, your question. What was Yoda's approximate age when he passed away? Um, 900. And your winner! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, she's done it for the second time in the match. Emma, the golden mic. Emma Fife. It got, it got tricky there for a second. When 900 years old, you reach. You may yeah. never find a more competitive match. Here over 900 years old. The Urban Gladiator, one more victory here for now. The Fight Club over the Viper Squad. This battle just keeps on going between these two. And they, wow, that was intense. It went down to the wire. I challenged Jay Washington, fought, it was on the verge of getting the TKO, getting knocked out. And then he fights back, forces it back, wins his challenge. Jay fought very well it, then. It, after he missed the two pointer in round three, I thought, okay, well, it's time to wave the white flag. But Jay, mm. you, he just kept coming back. You know yep. he's not going to give up. That's where he gets that endurance as he goes to the gym. He builds up the ability to compete hard for all three rounds. Emma Fife, just too tough today. Well, well now Emma Fife goes further in this inner geekdom tournament. Yep. And now the question starts to, to, to pose itself because we got Marquia going up against Rachel. Okay, let's say that Rachel wins that match, okay? Um, then what happens if Rachel and Emma have to face each other down the line? Then a it's, it's going to be a uh, Fight Club spectacular that is not right. to be missed. I mean, I, you wonder what the fallout of that matchup is going to be, if everybody can still be. But, but that's a ways a down the road. Who knows? For, Rachel's got to get by Marquia first. We know first. nothing no about Marquia. Yeah. We know nothing about her whatsoever. She could be the greatest player that we've ever seen in this game. So I know Rachel's not sleeping She's on her. Pretty, pretty knowledgeable on movie talk. Yeah. I can vouch for that. All right. So we're going to go to Jen Sturger, who is backstage with both the Golden Mike and the Urban Gladiator. Here we go. What's up, Movie Tribute Schmodown fans? Jen Sturger here with the Golden Mike, Emma Fife. 
Congratulations on a well-fought match. Thank you. I, uh, I feel good about what I accomplished today. I was a little annoyed with myself for not writing red and blue on that Star Wars question in the beginning because <laughs> I, could tell. I almost wrote and blue, especially when Jay called for the repeat, but I just was like, nah, they're both red. And then I was like, no, they said colors, colors, colors. I feel like this is a trick question, but I think I redeemed myself on that uh, three-pointer there with 900 and Yoda, so I feel pretty good. And then skipping past Star Wars. Yeah. What so was the logic there? Were you a little scared? I, I, so here's the thing. I know Star Wars quite well. I really do. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I know a lot, certainly, about the Star Wars universe. When but it comes, you're a little gun shy. When it, when, when it comes to the finer details of the actual film, sometimes I really don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I spun away from it because the last time I did not, and it was all pretty pretty specific details about things that had gone on in the films. And frankly, we have had multiple whole Star Wars matches. So naturally, that elevates the levels of the questions that you get even in Inner Geekdom or outside of Inner True. Geekdom. Star Wars is often a category in regular Schmodown matches. So just by virtue of the fact that you've had so many questions, Star Wars can be a little challenging. I, I, I thought really hard about it because I knew it could be worse than Star Wars for me, quite frankly. But... I spun away, and uh, ultimately, I'm very glad I did. <laughs> Absolutely saved yourself from potentially some pretty deep cuts. Sure, and got to get a, a and good And then you got Spinner's and, Choice. Yeah, yeah, that's the first time I've ever got Spinner's Choice. Uh, every other time I've spun Harry Potter, it's just worked out to spin Harry Potter. <laughs> and I, I was very, very happy to get to do that today because that is really a strong point for me. It's one of the things that I'm really passionate about. And the things that I am really passionate about, I am extremely knowledgeable about. So... And I could see you got a little frustrated in the last round, you know, when Jay challenged your first yeah, question. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I, I thought about it, and it really, it really was a fair challenge. And I, you know, I can envision the scene at the beginning of Return of the King now, and Deagle is absolutely the person who picks up the ring first. So it was, it was completely legitimate. You know, it's just been so wonderful seeing the Viper Squad and the Fight Club going at it, trading blows. <laughs> but eventually. You may have to go up against one of your own teammates. Yeah, well, I mean, Rachel both Rachel and I are playing in this sort of league that's going to lead to a tournament eventually. And if Rachel and I play each other, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. She's totally going to kick my butt. But, it, you know, <laughs> who knows? It'll, it'll be a really good time either way. Oh, that's the kind of attitude to have. Yeah. And I'm, uh, you know, and honestly, everybody I, I says that when they that play that Rachel, and I mean, then somehow they win. Conspiracy. No he definitely gave me a run for my money. He used his challenge very wisely. So really power to him in that regard. But I am kind of happy that Rachel won't necessarily have to deal with him yelling in her face quite as much, uh, particularly not after she beats Marquia, which I'm quite confident is going to happen because Rachel's a champion, you guys. There's no two ways about it. And how are you feeling with June 2nd coming up? I am uh, really, really excited for the live event on June 2nd. I, you know, that's, there's something so magical about the live Schmodown events. I know that you were at the last one. Oh my God, so much fun. It, and it's, it's so great to see all the fans out there and the energy in the room and Rachel and Clark I mean, they're, they're spectacular competitors either way, but I think you're really going to see them blossom with that audience and just totally kick Team Action's butt. Well, congratulations again, Emma, once Thank again. You. And we are so excited to see what's next for the Fight Club. I'm excited to see what's next for us, too. It's going to be good, whatever it is. Oh, Jay. <laughs> He looked happy for a second. You tell up there that you were really frustrated, especially in that third round when you got a little heated with Christian. What's going through your brain right now, man? The end. Man, a few words today. That's incredible, honestly. Um, but, Jay, I, I mean, we have to know, like, how does this affect the Viper Squad going forward, you know, with this whole rivalry you guys are building with the Fife Club right now? <sighs> I called it. Owe me 50 bucks. I don't need a lozenge. Okay, but let I me tell you what this it. does. It does, excuse me for a second. Step to the side. Love you. I'll talk to you in a minute. This <laughs> is what this does. It pisses me off even further. Okay, she won. Whoopie doo that damn day. But Janine beat you. Guess what? That hurt too. And guess what? Marquia is going to crush the crusher. Stacy's on a roll. Four and one. You think I give a damn? I lost. Okay, Lord of the Rings. I knew that answer though. She didn't get it. I knew it. Now. What does that mean going forward? That means I still stay in this thing one way or another. You think I let a loss slow me down? Hell no. I focus on the other Vipers. I let them 
do the work and me just sit in the back and cheer them on. Yeah, I'll be there cheerleader. Hi, Internet. You got something else to say about it? So with that being said, I'm looking forward to continually having these Vipers destroy the I Club. I'm looking forward to getting back here and a rematch with Emma Fife. My way. How about just Marvel in D.C. and Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter? That's it. Only those four. We do just those four. Call it a day. You can come back now. Yeah. You lost because you didn't use glorious domination, damn it. Thanks, Jeff. Emma Fife's, you know, look, look, she's happy. That's a big Got victory. What you deserve. Watches her first inner geekdom win. So, especially after losing to Janine that way. But she's talking about playing on. She's, you know, and, and, and Jen asked her what happens if she plays yep. with Rachel. And she's like, what do you think is going to happen? We're going to play. We're going to have a good time. And whoever whoever challenges Inman challenges Inman. Well, we had a good time here today. And Jason Inman, I think that he started to raise an eyebrow at, at, at Jay Washington, too. But I think particularly Emma Fife is now on his radar as a bogey. We want to hear from you guys. Now, comment. Let us know what did you think of today's match? Did you like my shirt and my jokes? Or are you like Christian and you weren't so high on them? That's right. And also Jay Washington talking about the fact he's clearly miffed back there. He's clearly miffed, and he wants to. Now he's talking about Marquia. Marquia taking out Rachel, and so you're gonna see the Urban Glider do his do his. He's thing. getting back to being a the, the, the ruler of a faction yeah, yeah. versus just because when he came out he was all for himself, yeah, but now he's start now he needs his pal. He was ready to do that, and also yeah. to you guys. He get you guys by with a little help for from his friends. friends. We really appreciate that keep on going and look we have so much more we want to do and in order to do him that, and i might go head to head again whether it is hey there uh, i is here's there for you guys to help along the cause so much even though it, i'm in front the seats i should still be first guys, we, we oh well so for mark ellis and i'm christian harlow thanks once again and we'll catch you next time uh-oh you again Bye. What are you looking at, cameraman? Oh no! I hear you're making some moves. Yeah, I'm making moves. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> What's up, Hello, Frank. And it is time for your Schmoll Down Breakdown. And our winners, Jay Washington and Emma Fife meeting face to face in the inner geekdom today. It was a battle of faction leaders. And as we make our way through the first round, it was very much a back and forth battle. We went five straight questions, in which Jay and Emma alternately answered correctly. And at the end of the first round, it was Emma who had a slightly up five to four. In the second round, Jay Washington ran into some trouble here, going two of five in DC on top of Emma stealing on two of three opportunities. But the damage wasn't done there. On Emma's gamble to respin, she landed on Spinner's Choice and selects Harry Potter. She winds up answering four of five for eight points and has a massive seven point lead heading into the final round. In the final round, Jay wouldn't go without a fight. By answering his three and five point questions, he is able to force Emma to... Yeah, that's right. Technically, the score was 18-16. And she does so in the category of Star Wars. She clinches the victory by a score of 18 to 16. Yeah. Going I'm glad he picked up on that. Jay's rough day is underscored by answering only eight of 19 for an accuracy yeah. of 42. That was a rough, that was a rough outing. Emma answered 12 of 20 for an accuracy of 6%. She also improved upon her best category of Harry Potter. Her accuracy in that category stands at 79%. If you want to find out other stats about this match and from around the league, check out SB Rundown Stats on Twitter. And don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on YouTube and the Collider Factory podcast feed. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown. Thank you, Frankie Stats Janish. All right, the doubleheader is complete. It's been 90 minutes since the video started. Um, the uh, the opening match, uh, unfortunately, um, with the TKO victory, never really got going. 
Janine got an impressive victory, though, so hats off to her. The Inner Geekta match looked like it was going to go that same route, but uh, hats off to Jay Washington. He uh, pulled back, came back, got the lead, and um, you know, he, he went down fighting. Uh, I'll give him that. But ultimately, Emma Fife wins, advances into this new um, conglomeration tournament thingy that they're going to do. So um, that's going to be interesting. Um, eight or so matches going to be going to wonder how many matches they're going to throw together before the collision actually happens. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts. Follow me on Twitter at WWJTH1. Um, join the official Movie Sh Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. Join the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Twitter page at the Schmodown. And, of course, if you can, become a Patreon uh, supporter. And always watch their content first. It's the right thing to do. But until next time, this is JTH. Thank you for watching JTH Reacts. Until next time, I bid you adieu adieu.